Hi, welcome to another heat link quick tip video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the placement of the snow and ice sensor, a vital part of ensuring that your snow melt system will work properly. The sensor provides feedback to the control of both temperature and snow and ice. So you want to make sure that you are installing it in a location that will give you the average readings of each. You also want to be sure not to install it too close to any heat sources like an exhaust vent or even the tubing itself, because this can give false readings, which will cause the system to work improperly and often leave you with unmelted snow, sort of defeating the purpose of having a snow melt system. For this reason, you want to ensure that you've got a clearance of at least three to five inches on all sides between the sensor and the tubing in the slab. Some other placement tips include keeping it away from walls, overhangs, awnings, trees, bushes, or really any other place that's going to block sunlight or snow from reaching the sensor. You also want to install it in the tire tracks and in the top third of the slab. Following these tips will help to ensure that the sensor is ideally placed for average temperature, snowfall, and sunlight, and will give you optimal system operation. That's it for this video. Join me in part two where we'll cover the installation of the sensor, and thank you for watching.